Hello and welcome back to New York Gold. Today we are going to be releasing a new live bearer into the tank. Not that it's new, it's uh, a spawn that we have. They're about three weeks old and they are black sword tails. So let's check them out. I started off with a two pair of swords. I, I have both males, but I had to remove one of the males because there was a lot of aggression between the two. Once I think this tank is full of other fish, he, they won't fight. But uh, in the meantime, I have, these are four juveniles, the small ones. They're, I don't know, probably three or four months old. And I raised them up last batch. And then now I have these guys growing out. So they're big enough, they're ready to go in. And uh, I find out like once once they're out of the keepers and they're into more space, they'll grow faster again. You can tell them they, there's so many in the in the two keepers, they start to slow down. The growth starts to slow, and it's just uh, they'll grow a lot faster outside. And they're not going to get eaten because they're big enough now. So there's the big mama right there. The other female passed on me. I found her dead. I don't know what happened. She just died. I don't know if it was birth related or not. Uh, the male's a, a beauty. He has like <clears throat> like shiny green scales underneath. What a nice looking fish. They all have that. Let's uh let's release the fry and see how they do. And some brinos. You guys in the back. Once they finish eating this up, I'll release them. Okay, let's do the one up front first. I'm gonna separate these things. I don't know if there's a good way to do this or a bad way to do this. We'll just sink them. All right, everybody, take a hike. All right, I'm just gotta get the snails out of here. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I always put snails in there, cleans up whatever's left over, keeps the cages pretty clean. Some of these are a little bit bigger. I had like an early spawn of a few, a couple days or so, less than a week before the other ones. So. Come on guys, get out. Is it my fault? Am I doing something wrong? You are we evicted. Alright, that guy got out. Alright. There you have it. Everybody's free. Everyone's hiding. There in there. You can see my brine shrimp hatchery is going on in there. I keep them I'm in the basement, so I have to keep them heated. So I have to do them submerged. And it works. And this is the one I just that out of it's orange and that one's brown so that's tomorrow i'll finish this up tonight and tomorrow morning will be the last feeding i'll fill it up blah, blah, blah. and then when i get home from work that one will be ready and the vicious cycle of brine shrimp feeding and some snails i'm gonna clean these things out and get them ready for the next batch all right I think that's that. A full tank of black swordtail. Black swordtails are pretty, uh, I, I don't remember seeing 
I, I'm sure everybody has seen these things. I went to the store, they had them, and I was like, wow, I don't remember seeing these things. I know I never had them before. So I figured I'd give them a shot. And uh, I guess they just breed up like every other uh, live bearer. Yeah. There's all these. They're pretty cool. They're not getting eaten, so I guess that's a good sign. There's still a lot of brine shrimp swimming around in there. All right, I guess that's that. We'll check up on these guys in a couple of months when they're all grown up and see. Maybe we'll, I'm sure we'll get another batch out of that big mama. Where is she? She got a fat belly on her. Don't tell her I said that, but I'm sure she's going to drop. Again, there she is. There she is. Oh, that wasn't her. That's her. <laughs> I'm on the wrong fish. That's fatty. I mean, Mrs. Skinny. All right. All right, all right, all right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.